What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are continuing our series on cowboy guns for self-defense, as if you couldn't tell from the ridiculous outfit that I'm wearing. But this week we have one of the most iconic calibers from the cowboy era, the 45 Long Colt. And the wheel gun we're using today is the Ruger Vaquero case-colored 45 Long Colt single action revolver. That's a mouthful. This bad boy dates all the way back to the 1870s and the name of the cartridge is actually the 45 Colt. Long Colt was just a nickname that was given to it because at the time there were two 45s being used, the 45 Schofield and the 45 Colt. The 45 Colt was the longer of the two so they started calling it the 45 Long Colt. I'll probably say both throughout this video because they are both very common but technically 45 Colt is the correct name of the cartridge just to clarify. And believe it or not, I have never fired a 45 Colt in my life, so I am very excited to try this thing. Let's do it. Now last week we did the 357 Magnum and I was blown away by it. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it because right now it is definitely my favorite caliber that we've tried so far in the series and probably one of the most impressive handgun calibers I've ever tested, period. And I should probably clarify because I saw some comments, I am not limiting this series to only calibers that came out during the cowboy era. For instance, the 357 Magnum came out in the 1930s, but it is one of the most prolific revolver calibers of all time in Western culture, even if it did come out a little bit later. The 45 Colt, however, is a true cowboy era cartridge, so let's try it. All right, let's see what this bad boy can do. My very first shots are gonna be right here on camera with you guys. If you've never seen a 45 Long Colt, this is what it looks like. This is a 255 grain lead cowboy load. And I do realize with most of these calibers, they were probably using black powder in the 1800s, but for obvious reasons, we will not be doing that. Let's give her a little spin. Oh, I love that sound. All right, let's see how it feels. <laughs> Actually a little more recoil than I was expecting. That is awesome. Go for that red target. <laughs> The green one. <laughs> well, I don't know why, but I was kind of expecting this to have less recoil than the 357 Magnum, and I'm not so sure that it does. It is more of a slow push, but it definitely has a big thump to it. I love that. The only thing better than 145 Colt is 245 Colts. Probably won't hit anything, but we'll try it. Ugh. How did I miss that? There we go. I meant to miss all those targets. How about 345 Colts? This is another Ruger Blackhawk with a slightly shorter barrel. And of course, I want to thank BFF Firearms for loaning me 1745 Colts to make today's video. I usually like the shorter barrels better. Let's see how this one feels. A little more recoil. There's a bullet. Check that out. I saw one of our bullets hit the backstop and then land on the ground. It's not very often you get to recover a fired bullet. That's awesome. Hey guys, really quick before we go any further, I want to tell you all about XS Sights. As you know, they have been a channel sponsor for a very long time, and that is because I genuinely love their products, and I believe they make some of the best iron sights on the planet for every type of firearm. Whether it's for hunting or self-defense, XS Sights are known for making the fastest sights in any light, and their XS Big Dots, which I would have to assume are one of their best sellers, are probably the fastest iron sights I've ever used on a handgun. Big Dots really shine up close and personal where 99.9% .9 of self-defense engagements occur and all you have to do is put the golf ball on the tee and that is where the bullet goes and because the sight picture is larger than normal they are extremely fast 
fast and easy to acquire. And if you don't like the big dots because everyone does have their preferences, of course, XS Sights has a ton of other night sights to choose from. So go check them out. I will put a link down in the description box below and use the code XS Sights 10 for 10% off. And again, a big thank you to XS Sights for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate the support. All right, we have a few different bullets out here. I want to try them all so we can see which one feels the most powerful so we can use that one for our self-defense test. First up, we have the Western X 255 grain. And this box and the cartridge both look like they're about 30 to 40 years old. So this might be interesting. Going with the ones that appear to be 100 years old first. So wish me luck. Whoa, that is a big jump in recoil from the ones that we've been shooting. Wow. Next up, we have the Magtech Cowboy Action Load. This is a 250 grain bullet, and it's more of a round lead ball, like probably what you would see back in the day. Because this one says Cowboy Action Load, I'm just expecting it to not be very powerful, but... I've been wrong before. Let's find out. Yeah, almost no recoil. Next up, we have the Winchester Western. This might be the exact same ammo that's in the yellow box, just a different package, and the bullet does look very similar. Don't know how heavy it is. It does not say on the box, so let's shoot it. Although the yellow box Westerns were way more powerful than I expected, so. They might not be the same. Not quite as powerful as the others. And last but not least, we have the CCI 45 Colt Snake Shot. These usually have almost no recoil. I don't think I've ever fired these shot shells in a revolver before, so. This should be interesting. <laughs> Definitely the least powerful of them all. Okay, so unfortunately I do not have any hollow points for the 45 Colt like I did for the 357. But without a doubt, the most powerful of them all is the Yellow Box Western. So this is what we'll use for our self-defense test. Well, you cannot call yourself a cowboy if you don't shoot these things one-handed. So we're gonna try it with the most powerful ammo that we have. Hopefully I can hang on to it. <laughs> <laughs> That is a spicy round. Way more powerful than any of the 357s we had, that's for sure. <laughs> Smoky too. Well, since we started this cowboy series, we have begun the scientific tradition of shooting baby watermelons. So we are gonna do the same thing with the 45 Long Colt and see how it does. And for this one, we are gonna use the Yellow Box Western X, since this is clearly the most powerful round we have, even though it is 150 years old. <laughs> I've got to say, every time I shoot these watermelons, it always smells so freaking good. I do wish I had hollow points for the 45 Long Colt so we could make it a fair comparison, but for a cowboy load, that was very impressive. We have a couple big pieces left on the table, right there and right there, but for the most part, that bullet completely exploded that watermelon. I've still got the 357 Magnum in first place for the watermelon test, but again, that was a hollow point, so it's not really a fair comparison. All right, it is time for the moment of truth. 45 Long Colt versus Ballistic Dummy Lab Human Head. So you can see this head actually does have 
some green blood on it. And that is from an over penetration test that I did a couple weeks ago where I shot one that was in front of it and it splashed onto this one. So this head is still in perfect condition and has never been shot. 45 long colt versus human head. Let's do it. Last week we played Russian roulette and it was his lucky day. I think he survived the first three shots. Let's see if this guy has a different fate. <laughs> it is so scary when you don't know if the round is gonna go off or not. Two. There it is. <laughs> That was trigger pull number three. So technically if we're playing Russian roulette, he survived, but I changed the rules. So he didn't make it. And I already know when I go back to watch that footage, I'm going to be flinching on those trigger presses. No matter how hard you try, that is not easy to do. Let's take a look at our damage. Okay, so it looks like it went in just above his left eye, pretty much right in the middle. You can see where that ballistics gel split on the entrance hole right there. And I would say this did even more damage than the 357 Magnum. It just completely shattered that entire head, really all the way around to this side, up on the top, up on the top over here and then obviously where that bullet went in is just completely wrecked. I don't think he'll be seeing out of that left eye anytime soon. Let's go around to the back and see if it went through. And it did. So very clearly there's a big exit hole right here. Um, not a hollow point, so it didn't expand or do anything crazy coming out the back, but it easily blew straight through that head. And this is an interesting angle. You can see like four or five inches below that bullet impact, there are still some broken bones. And then up here, the back of that skull is just completely shattered as well. And it looks like there's just one exit hole. So I'm gonna assume the bullet probably stayed intact for the most part and just passed right through. Make no mistake, these old ball rounds are still very effective. It's just not a hollow point. So it's not gonna expand and stay in the target like the 357 did. But I don't think he's gonna go on to bother anybody else. All right, guys. Guys, that is the 45 Long Colt. Hope you all enjoyed the video. This thing is an absolute beast. I'm definitely a fan and clearly it passed the self-defense test with flying colors. Not much else to say. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, I'd be glad to hear from you guys. If you liked the video, please hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.